everyone, and welcome back to Vivid Iceland. Over the next two days, we are going to be headed around the Golden Circle. I'm sure many of you have heard this one before. So we're going to be trying to get to as many sites as we can, uh, weather allowing, of course. We've just got a big dumping of snow last night, so we're going to be trying to get as, to as many places as possible. Uh, not only that, but uh, last night we stayed at a pretty unique accommodation here in the Golden Circle. We'll of course be giving you a room tour for that. And uh, yeah, we might have a little secret hot pot as well to show you guys. So if you're ready, cue the drone shot. where one of the world's first democratic parliaments was founded and where a few major turns in Icelandic history happened. It is Thingvellir. The Eurasian and North American tectonic plates meet in Thingvellir. The gradual drifting of the plates, as well as earthquakes and eruptions, have created this dramatic landscape with the rift valley being filled with lava fields and many ravines. It is the only place in the world where you can see the edges of both plates so clearly. These plates move away from each other at around 2.5 cm a year. There is also a very unique diving and snorkeling site, Silfra, that also attracts many people to Thingvellir. Often voted as one of the world's top 5 diving spots, the ravines are filled with meltwater from the Langjökull ice cap. This water has flowed through lava rock for decades, undergoing extremely thorough filtration which causes the water to be extremely clean and crystal clear. The visibility of underwater exceeds 100 meters in parts. As the temperature of the water is 2 degrees all year round, dry suits are a must.
Loig is a small hot spring just a short drive from the town of Flúðir. At one point in time, this area was used as a sheep washing station for local farmers. Fortunately, this isn't the case anymore. Rather, it is a nice human washing station after a long day of driving. There is also a shelter that you can use to get changed in if you need. There are three pools located here, with the warmest pool being surrounded by a high stone wall. stayed at. So as you can see, very circular. We are staying inside a silo. It is basically just one room. We have the bed right here. A nice sort of kitchen slash dining table. Over here you have a tiny little kitchenette, two burner hob, um, all the typical cutlery, all that sort of stuff. Inside here we have a full uh, private bathroom, toilet, shower, all that good stuff. Uh, there's me, hello. Going over this way, beautiful view. Out into the farmland and into the rest of the Golden Circle. Very, very nice. And let's go check out the kitchen view as well. Let's see what we got out there. There it is, beautiful. Nice dumping of snow, beautiful blue day. I think we're gonna hit the road. Dalur is a valley located in an active geothermal area and has more than 10 hot water blowholes, the most famous of which is called Stroker or Churn in English. It can shoot superheated water up to 40 meters high and it regularly erupts every 5 to 10 minutes.
this is the geyser that gave name to all the other geysers in, in the world. And at the moment it's, uh, it's not really very active. Um, after lots of soap got thrown into it to make the eruptions more effective. So yeah, let's go and uh, check out Strokkur, the one that actually erupts. Wow! Due to an underground labyrinth of rocky caverns and vents, groundwater is able to come into contact with searing hot bedrock. The water is heated up and pressure starts to build. Once the water has reached the required temperature and pressure, it gushes out from the geyser and up into the sky. Alright, this is probably something you shouldn't do, but uh, how's the temperature, Cat? It's just lukewarm. Oh, nice. Not enough for a hot tub, I guess. Nope, definitely not. where you can view the waterfall. You can come to the top car park and you will have a better view from the higher area or you can take the lower car park as well. So we'll see which one is better. Kulfos, meaning the Golden Falls, is one of the most iconic waterfalls in all of Iceland. The water flows all the way from the ice cap Langjökull until it plunges over the edge in two stages, together a total of 32 meters. Hema is quite possibly the most unique tomato farm in Iceland. It's a place that allows you to enjoy your lunch in a greenhouse surrounded by rows upon rows of tomato plants. They offer three course menus, but the most popular dish is their tomato soup with freshly baked bread and cucumber salsa.
Bees here are imported from Holland and are used to pollinate the plants. We have around 600 bees in total. There are four types of tomatoes grown here year round and it is all done by using eco-friendly methods such as geothermal heating and no pesticides. Okay everyone, we are finishing up a little bit early today. Uh, weather took a turn for the worse. It started snowing like crazy and we realized uh, some of the places we wanted to check out, yeah, not quite possible in this weather. So we're gonna save that for the next video. Um, it's currently, what, the 9th of February today and it's quite possibly the, f the first day of winter, at least down here on the south coast. So we have beautiful snow everywhere, as you probably saw at the start of the video. And uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna enjoy the drive home in the snow now. But uh, other than that, thanks for watching you guys. As always, like, comment and subscribe. And 